so in this video we will learn how you can pass parameters between screens while navigating when you use navigation and you go from one screen to another screen then you need to pass some data when you create a real-time applications like if you register a user then after uh, registration you need to uh, uh, navigate the user from the register screen to the uh, uh, login screen where user can log in and account details will be displayed so you need to pass the account data similarly in our this video uh, we will be creating a register screen where we ask uh, user to fill up some input and when user click on the register uh, we will uh, redirect the user to the new screen where we display all those data so first of all create a react native project and open it on visual studio code i already opened the is emulator but you can use the android emulator if you are using windows or linux machine it works fine with both the platforms so this is the example from our last videos uh, we have currently two uh, screen which are in stack navigation the first one is home screen and the second one is product category screen we can rename the product category screen but uh, for this example uh, let's just not do that uh, both the screen are empty there is only single view and we have some header style option in the stack navigator the header tint color is black and the background color is yellow so it applies to this both the screen so first of all let us create uh, inputs for uh, name email uh, password etc i imported the input from react native elements first of all placeholder here user will enter their name then we can provide the value here we write the name the state name we will be creating states for this uh, information on change text whatever the text is the inputs we simply store them to the name state uh, let me first create the states that we need first of all the name state name by default it will be an empty string second one will be email it will be an empty string then third one let's say age and the password okay so let me just save this as you can see we already have the first input uh, placeholder value and function let me just copy this much paste it three times Here the value will be email here we use the email and placeholder will be email here user enters the age we display the age state over here we set it to the age 
सेम गोज ही पासवर्ड बट फॉर द पासवर्ड वी यूज सिक्योर एक्सटेंटली लेट मी जस्ट सेव दिस नाउ वी हैव फोर डिफरेंट इनपुट्स एंड ओके सो एंड ईमेल ओवर द ईमेल वी कैन आल्सो प्रोवाइड द टाइप ओके सो now let us create a button again the button we have imported from the react native elements here the title let's say register now let me just change the uh, uh, this title from home to register and i've so i have uh, shown you how you can do this in our last video you can provide the title register as you can see it's tend to register okay so now we can create a function that we can call uh, on this click event placement post let's say register now we need navigation post navigation use navigation navigation dot navigate we navigate user to this product category screen the name is product category now the most important part now we uh, uh, send the data from here we need to send this for state so the name will send the name this name over here is taken from this state and this name we can use afterwards onto the uh, other screen so don't get confused over there you can change you can use the uh, different name if you want and no we don't need to send the password okay so let me just save this um on press uh, event we simply call the register let me just save this and go back to the product category screen let me also set name to the product category options title will be let's say account details let me save this on the product category screen we need a route to get the data from this screen route use route you need to import this route from react navigation native here let's say text here we display route dot params param stands for parameters and here we display first of all the name let me just save this now let me just copy this much if i say three times here we display the email and here we display age name email and h let me just save this also let apply some style to it font size let's say 
20 we copy this time apply to all the text okay so it looks we are good to go let me just go through it again we have created four state for the name email age and password and we have created four inputs for that in the password we have also in, uh, uh, entered the secure text entry so user can securely enter the password then we created a button and we are calling the register function after uh, pressing on the register button user will navigate to the product category screen which is this and we are passing the name email and age on the product category screen we are receiving the name email and age using route so let me just enter my name bridgen email let's say bridgen at the gmail.com age is 24 and password let's enter anything now if i click uh, or press on the register button it should redirect to the product category screen and the title of that product category screen will be account details and we should see the name email and a we just entered over here let me click on the register as you can see we are getting the information correctly bridgen bridgen gmail.com is 24 let me go back to the register let me add another name let's say bruce let's say bruce at the gmail.com let's say age 52 password let's remain is the same register as you can see it works perfectly fine so these are we can transfer the data from one screen to another screen while navigating it is very important when you create a big application a real-time application where you have multiple screens and you need to transfer data from one screen to another so that's it from for this video thanks for watching it